Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have all new Dollar Tree DIYs to share with you for Easter and spring. And these are all going to be very easy to recreate and they are really customizable. So if you don't love the colors that I used in my DIYs, you can definitely switch it up and make it your own. And if you are new here, I would love to have you join us by subscribing down below. I am so excited for this first DIY. I have been planning it ever since I saw these pieces at Dollar Tree. So Dollar Tree has these new items this year for Easter and they are these wood shapes, but they are nice and big and they are self-standing. So they're totally blank. You can really customize them however you like. But in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a really simple way to just make these into something so special with hardly any effort at all. We are going to be transforming the bunny rabbit, carrot, and egg, but Dollar Tree does also have a chick as well. And this one is so great here, the egg, it's nice and large. You can really customize these so many different ways. And if you have a cutting machine like a Cricut, definitely pick these up because there are just so many possibilities but here is my secret on how to completely transform these with really little effort and it is scrapbooking paper this is going to give you a gorgeous look for very little effort so all you have to do is just pick out some scrapbooking paper that we love and just trace your shape so i actually got this pack of scrapbook paper from joanne fabrics I don't know if Dollar Tree does have any. If they don't, Michaels usually sells it as well as Hobby Lobby and of course Joanne Fabrics. And there are some options on Amazon as well. I'm just tracing the outline of my shape with my pencil and then I will cut it out. This paper was actually double-sided so I'm just tracing it on the opposite side. That way, if there's a little bit of pencil mark left over, you're not going to notice it. And the best way I found to attach this to the wood is just with a glue stick. This is my favorite method. You can use Mod Podge or something like that as well. I really do prefer the glue stick. It's gonna give you a very clean look. It's easy to work with. You just want to make sure that you are getting an even coat of glue over the entire surface and be sure to get glue on those edges. Then you can just lay your paper on top, apply a little bit of pressure. I just flip mine over to give it some extra pressure and let it dry. And that paper will definitely be stuck on there. We we are going to embellish these a little bit in a minute, but I'm just going to put them to the side so we can get started on our carrot. And for this one, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I thought I wanted to go with this orange color here, but then I decided to make it a little bit different. So I had these two different papers and I thought that they kind of complemented each other. They have the same pattern, but a different size and a different color. So I'm going to go ahead and use the green one for the top portion of my carrot and gold for the body. I just wanted to show you a trick. If you can't get into those really tiny places with your pencil just trace as much as you can then lay it over the top and apply some pressure it's going to basically form an indentation as to where you need to cut and then you can go ahead and just trim the rest with your scissors so now that i have the top portion all mapped out i went ahead and cut out the body and of course i'm just going to attach it with some glue if you want to cover up the seam where the two papers meet just grab some ribbon this one here is from dollar tree and of course i had to use it since it does have a carrot on it and i'm just tying a bow in the front I just love how easy this DIY is to customize because depending on your color palette, you can really transform these any way you like. Now for the egg, I decided to go with a light blue color. I decided to embellish it with these paper florals and these are actually from Target. They came in a big pack, so I do have a lot left over and I will leave a link for those down below if I can find them in stock. And now we have to embellish those bunny rabbits and the perfect way to do that is just to add a pom-pom to their tail. And these pom-poms are from Dollar Tree. They came in a large pack. And here's a closer look at how everything turned out. This just might be one of my new favorite Dollar Tree DIYs ever because it is very simple, but I love the end result. This would be a beautiful gift for somebody and they would never know that it was a Dollar Tree DIY. You guys will have to let me know if you're going to give this one a try. For this next DIY, you're going to need the Dollar Tree plastic bunny container and any spray paint of your choosing. I'm going to be using this one here in the heirloom white color. And I'm just going to spray the entire thing with two coats. Next, I'm going to add a base to it because I basically want this to be up on a pedestal. And this is one of the newer candle holders from Dollar Tree. They definitely still have the classic glass one. You can definitely use that one and just spray paint it if you want. But I thought that this one looked a little bit different and more substantial. So I'm going to be using this one for this DIY. 
and I did just hot glue to the bottom. I did use my Gorilla hot glue sticks. Again, those will definitely be linked down below if you want to pick those up. Those are my favorite glue sticks. And now I just wanted to distress mine a little bit. So depending on the look you're going for, I kind of wanted that rustic Easter look. So I just added some brown paint on a dry paintbrush and just added some strokes and then used a dry paper towel just to rub off any excess. And now I'm going to be creating a bow. This is my no fuss way to get a beautiful bow. So you just cut four pieces of ribbon, a small, a medium, a large, and then another piece that's a little bit bigger than the small. You basically use the two larger ones to create a loop. I just use hot glue. And then you place the small piece in the back and then the smallest piece just wraps around to hold everything together. I did fold the edges of that center piece in, that way you only see the lace portion. And then once the hot glue was dry, I just pulled down the tails of the bow in the back and hot glued it to the center of my bunny rabbit. And now here is the finished result. We have this large rustic bunny statue that is so easy to make, but it is a nice substantial size. If you guys are already familiar with my channel, then you will know that I love to offer free printables for you guys whenever I can. They are just so easy to use when you are decorating your home and they are instant decor. So for Easter, I came up with these four here. They have a different bunny in the center and you will see that they do coordinate together. So the background in two of them is kind of a sage green color. And then for the other two, it is this tan color. Perfect for an eight by 10 frame, but you can definitely size them down as well to fit any frame that you like. And I will have these on my blog and the link for that will be listed down below. You can just click that link and it's going to bring you to the blog article. Just scroll down to the bottom until you see the bottom link. It will be pink. Click it and then you can print it out. And again, I will have the link for that in the video description as well as in the comment section pinned to the top. And this is my kitchen here. I like to change out my art prints for each holiday. So I had Valentine's Day and now I switched it to Easter but it's just a really fun way to add an easy decor element that only takes a few minutes. In the crafter square at Dollar Tree, you will find a bunch of these rolls of fabric and they have lots of different colors. Since the theme of today's video is more of a rustic Easter, I went with these three here. And first we need to make an easy template of a bunny rabbit. So I just have a piece of paper and I'm just making this super simple, just a large circle, a smaller circle, some ears. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and fold my paper in half and cut out my template of my bunny rabbit. When I was cutting, I did actually decide to give my bunny rabbit some feet as well, but you want this shape to be pretty simple. It's just going to make the next step a lot easier. I wanted to do a bunny rabbit for my template, but you can definitely do a carrot or a chick or even an Easter egg as well. So here is my simple bunny template. And now I'm going to go ahead, grab that fabric and just fold it in half. Now I'm going to take my paper bunny, lay it on top and just trace it out with a pencil. It's really hard to see the outline here it was pretty faint. Just trimmed it out using my fabric shears. And now I'm going to repeat that same process for my other two pieces of fabric. You can make several of these from one piece, but I just wanted three different fabrics for this project. And I did go ahead and just sew the edges of my rabbit. If you don't have a sewing machine and you don't want to sew it by hand, you can use hot glue for this as well for a no sew method. And I did leave a raw edge. I wanted it to kind of have that frayed hem to it just to add to the rustic feel. Now just go ahead, add some polyfill. You can use an eraser end of a pencil just to help get that polyfill into the ears. And now I'm going to go ahead and just add some of these poly palettes. I'll leave these linked down below just to turn these into bean bags and give them a little bit of weight. Then I just sewed the bottom closed and I'm going to be using the pom poms from these little DIY packets from Dollar Tree for my bunny because they were the perfect size. And here's how this one turned out. I think that these are adorable. These would be great if you want to make a few of these to put in some Easter baskets or you can just display them in a bowl like I did here. Now for our last DIY, we're going to be using this new wood piece that I found in the crafter square at Dollar Tree. It is this little trinket tray. They actually had two different styles. I went with the one with the scalloped edge. You're also going to need some wood beads. These wood beads I did already have on hand, but Dollar Tree does sell wood beads. These one here are 20 millimeter wood beads. I will leave a link for the exact type down below. 
I'm just using some wood glue to glue them to the bottom of my tray. You want to let that dry overnight. Then pick a spray paint, any color of your choosing. I'm just going to go with white for this one here. I'm keeping it classic. And now to embellish this, we're going to grab these wood bunnies from Dollar Tree. These were one of my favorite finds from last year and Dollar Tree did bring them back this year. So we're going to be hot gluing three to each side. I like to start in the center just so I have my center placement and then I put one on either side and then I just worked my way around the entire tray until all the sides had three bunny rabbits. I am using the Gorilla Hot Glue sticks again for this one and they were very sturdy but you can also use wood glue if you prefer. Now this tray here is just so cute all on its own. You can really use this for anything, fill it up with candy. You can definitely use it as a trinket tray but if you want to use it as part of your decor, a really simple way to style it is just add some Spanish moss from Dollar Tree and a pack of their pastel eggs. I think that this one looks great next to some faux florals. And that is everything for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed these all new Easter Dollar Tree DIYs. This is probably my favorite Dollar Tree DIY video that I've ever done for Easter. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed it as well. Don't forget to check out those free printables. And if you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel by just clicking on my picture right here.